The first impressions are that people here did not cultivate their crop fields this year. This is because only wheat that was able to withstand the long dry spells is evident in the fields. Subsistence farming is the main source of livelihood for the majority of the people in the region where there is no other source of income. For pensioners like Emma Mayavero, heading a household of 11, the only hope is government's drought relief program. Mayavero says she decided not to waste her social grant payout on the crop fields as the rain showed no promise like in the past years. As you can see, I did not plow this year. I knew from February when I saw how the sky was that it was just going to be a waste. A stone throw from the Mayaveros is Paula Kamene, one of the luckier farmers who attended the Minister of Agriculture's Mahangu mentorship program. Kamene at least has something to put in her granary thanks to the education program that equipped her with basic knowledge on how to manage her mahangu crops and improve production. But she will not be able to produce any surplus, let alone feeding her family due to poor rainfall. This harvest will not last us long because we must sell to buy school uniforms for the children. As myself and my husband are not working, we depend heavily on farming. Although her yield is way below what she expected from her about 30 hectares crop field, Kamene says she is still better off than many others in the area.